Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I just had 10 days in the wilderness with my girls and I wanted to give you guys um, kind of a recap, a little bit of a behind the scenes kind of stuff of what that 10 days was like. Um, so I didn't record every day, but um, some of the days I did and I just kind of kind of just show you what, what's going on at the camp while I'm with the girls, some of the stuff that, that didn't make it into um, the videos, but I just kind of combined them all together um, into this video. And at the end of the video, um, I do a lot of reflection on um, what it's like to camp with, with uh, your daughters um, for uh, 10 days. So if you, if you wanna skip to that part, that's fine too, but um, you can see some updates with the camp that I have as well. And so I hope you guys enjoy it. Good morning, we are at um, the morning of the first day. We arrived here last night and did a bunch of stuff around camp. And now we're waking up and we're gonna end up going backpacking. I am wearing my cool PJs. It was actually pretty cold last night. The girls are still waking up right now. Um, we got these, these moss everywhere. I don't know, it's landing on the camera. Um, so we're gonna get up and we're gonna um, get ready to, to head out on the trail and we're going to be filming that in another video but uh, getting the girls up has been a little bit of a struggle this morning right Madison? What? You gonna get up? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> She's my preteen that is ready to um, sleep in every day until 11 or 12 and I don't know what time it is now I think it's around 7 30 or 8 and I want to hit the trail before we hit too much rain. So um, last time, I have no coverage at all. There, actually, there's no service at all in this area. There's also a fire that's going on right now. Um, smoke looks like it's it's calmed down a bit. But when we got here last night, the I mean, everything just smelled like forest fire. It was actually a little scary. I was a little kind of stressed a little bit about it. So you guys remember I was getting a, a porta potty delivered. Well, that is the area that I was um, arranging for the porta potty. And there is my sign that says porta potty here. This is where they put it last year. Um, however, they delivered it a day late because I called them every day. Um, and I don't know, but uh, they decided to put the porta potty over there. <laughs> I'm not too happy about that. Not too, I'm, I'm happy it's not in the middle of the driveway, but it was supposed to be here and I was going to, you know, in the process of building a wall around it. And I don't know, maybe I should call them, but I don't even think that ground is level. Like, I didn't plan on the porta potty being there. I, I don't know what the, I don't know. Uh, it is what it is. Remember how I said I wanted the porta potty towards the grass? <laughs> well, it's towards the grass. <laughs> So I'm braiding my hair, and as I'm braiding my hair, I told Kaya that I gotta record you. She's deciding which stuffed animal to bring with her on our backpacking trip by eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one won? So I told Manis or Kyla that she needs to bring the smallest stuffed animal she has because we're backpacking. It's the size of my hand. There you go. Okay, now we're thinking. Okay, kids are packed. Here's Braid. And I'm going to try to lift this thing. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is the first time using this pack on a trail. Um, the pack starts off pretty heavy already, heavier than my other pack. Um, so I'm just going to have to, I'm going to try it out. So if you guys want to see that video it's going to be I don't know when it's going to post but stay tuned or maybe it already posted I'm not too sure um, but th this is the pack really big and pretty heavy but I'm pretty well balanced I think I think I'm well balanced we're going to try it out it's kind of a fun adventure it's only a night 
Um, I think we're going to be hiking around, well, it depends on how the kids are doing, but between 8 and 16 miles um, in two days. Okay, are we ready? Kyla, ready? Set. Oh, I just turned off. Ready? <laughs> Set. Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest Cubs, where t kids teach kids wilderness skills. Today we're going on a two-day, one-night backpacking trip and we're going to show you what we're bringing. Perfect. Okay. First try. Yes. <laughs> so what I'm going to bring on my, in my back is I'm going to bring my rain jacket, my clothes such as a short, socks, sh a shirt, I am on day four of my 10 day adventure with my kids uh, living in my tent and um, just want to give you guys kind of an update of, of what's going on. Um, we did go backpacking for two days. Um, so today is Monday and uh, we went backpacking on Saturday and Sunday and we arrived um, uh, late evening on um, Sunday, which was yesterday. So I have the girls right now are reading. They're very quiet, and very calm. I think I wore them out a little bit. So Madison's actually still in her PJs, um, laying in her in the bed and uh, reading a book. And uh, Kyla is out here on the porch reading a book, and we're enjoying the nice scenery. We do have our neighbors uh, working on cutting down trees so we hear a lot of chainsaw in the background but I think that uh, with the fire that's in the area um, I think a lot of people are really getting on trying to um, cut a lot of their dead wood and uh, process it right now um, so you'll be hearing that a little bit in the background it's not a problem actually it makes me feel good when I hear that because it's people taking care of their land and I appreciate that as I am doing the same thing and I'm constantly running a chainsaw here I just don't film it every time but there's always a chainsaw running on my land because I got a lot of dead trees so uh, we ran into a hiccup yesterday if you haven't seen that video yet um, and the hiccup was um, well let me let me show you so if you guys haven't seen the video of um, the girls and I backpacking, and I'm talking about part two, at the end of part two, I had a little dilemma. So I, as I recommend, always tell someone where you're gonna be, where you're gonna backpack. So I told Todd where I was gonna be. So he took a picture of the map of where we're gonna be, and he said, hey, when do you think you'll be back? And I said, uh, maybe sun Sunday, about three to four, somewhere around there. And um, yeah, I am the type of person, and I know you guys don't know me that well, but I'm the type of person, if I say I'm gonna be somewhere at three, I'm gonna be there right at three. So he was hanging around the tent area and he was just like, hmm, it's three o'clock and she's not here. And for some reason he felt this weird vibe and he's just like, something's wrong, something's going on. And so he ended up leaving and going to the trailhead. Um, we basically took our time. Our kid, my kids were kind of worn out. I kind of wore them out backpacking. And we kind of just kind of took our time. We rested a little bit. We hung out. We had snacks, you know, on our way back. I let them pack up the tent. Um, I didn't realize that for the kids to pack up the tent in their backpack on their own, it took a whole hour to do that. <laughs> and he comes down the trail and he's like, what is going on? You know, I don't know. It's like 4.30 and I was like, we were having fun you know he I don't know what what his deal was but he was just thinking we have asthma pretty bad in our family um, and he was thinking with all the smoke in the air that we would have a hard time and he was picturing all these issues that we would have with breathing and everything and and uh, you know I feel I feel the smoke in my lungs I feel it but it, but it was okay we were fine with that um, however he, when he came up to me and he's like where are you you know where have you been and I'm like we're having fun he was really cool you know what I mean like he wasn't like pissed at me or anything like that we're I think it was the other way around. I might be pissed, you know, but he was actually really cool about it. And uh, he's like, well, you're not going to like this. And the first thing, Madison and I both thought, oh, no, Spirit Forest is on fire. You know, because we were getting ashes falling on us um, when we were backpacking and stuff. And we're like, shoot, Spirit Forest is on fire. And like her and I are like, this is it. We're done, you know. And he's like, there's something wrong with your car. And I was like, what? Oh, I'm like, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, that's good. I don't care what's wrong with my car. He says, you got a complete flat tire. 
And I'm like, uh-oh. And I'm like, why is it flat? And the first thing I thought was, is it because I put wood chips on the driveway? Did it puncture my tire? And he's like, no, 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 it wouldn't do that. And I was like, cause I was a little worried about that. You know, I don't, I'm not a mechanic by any means. I don't know anything about cars, you know? Um, and he's like, you got a really flat tire. And I'm like, well, can I still drive on it? <laughs> He's like, no. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I walk up to the car and I see it and yeah, there's no way I can drive on that tire. I did have a spare tire. My spare tire worked. And let me show you. I know that was a lot of, but there's a story to tell. There's my spare tire in my car. I didn't want to risk it, you know, so I'm trying not to drive on it. So the girls and I are pretty much stuck here um, at Spirit Forest. But part of my adventure these 10 days, you know, is that they put the porta potty in the wrong spot. Now, I, I've mentioned that before, um, but the porta potty was not level. So um, Todd was very nice. Actually, he didn't want to go in there. <laughs> he's like, I'm not going in there. The <laughs> porta potty's like this. <laughs> you know, he's like, I'm like, we're going to fall over in this thing. They just stuck it there, you know what I mean? Um, and I had this other spot all level for the porta potty that they put the last year. They put the porta potty there last year. So, anyway, so uh, Todd leveled it for me, which you, I don't know if you can see. There's a couple two by fours down there, um, and so he leveled it. I don't know if it's for me. I think it's for him because he's here a lot of times when I'm not here. Um, he uses this as his like base camp too. You know, he likes being out in the wilderness as well. So there's a lot of times where I'm not here and he's here. Um, so he's like, I'm fixing that porta potty. <laughs> So, you know, one of my dilemmas with the, the things that I don't like about this porta potty is that it stinks. You know, I'm sure everyone can agree to what a porta potty smells like, but it does currently right now it just smells like the blue water porta potty. We've only had it for um, less than a week now, you know, since it's been cleaned. But it just, it smells like that blue water. So, you know what I bought? I'm going to show you to try to um, help out because last year it was just terrible. Look what I bought. <laughs> you ever see these commercials? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm supposed to put this in the porta potty or not. But there's a part of me is like, it smells like cedar and citrus. <laughs> and I don't know, you guys, this thing I think costs like 30 bucks or something like that. And the funny part is it has, um, it has a bear sitting on a toilet. <laughs> And I didn't know I bought it on Amazon and I'm like, oh, I just want something that kind of smells a little bit like wood And it has this whole camping type look to it, which is I think is so funny So now my porta potty smells like cedar wood and citrus It actually smells more like citrus than cedar, but um, it actually doesn't smell bad You know, like you just get this whiff of like citrus in the air <laughs> Anyways, just had to share that guys with you. And oh, we have little lights too. I'll have to show you at night. Madison put these little lights inside the porta potty. <laughs> so again, I'm just kind of taking you guys on my 10 day adventure, kind of giving you a recap of all the videos that I've done on this 10 day. So you're going to see a lot of details on some certain things. Um, Oh, there's kind of blown balloons or bubbles, blowing bubbles. So one of the things that I bought that I'm going to do a separate video on, or maybe I've already posted it. I'm not too sure. Um, is my uh, I got this. I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> I'm going to take a shower out here. I'm trying to get this to heat up. It's um, I don't know which side you're supposed to face it, but anyways, I have a separate video on that. We might just go for a little drive um, to the to the area where we can we can take a shower. I'm not too sure, but um, we're it's been day four and we haven't taken a shower yet. It's time. It's we're due. So the girls and I are nicely showered now, and now I am making dinner. And but I wanted to um, give a shout out to one of my subscribers for doing such a wonderful job on carving a spoon for me. Um, it is now my official cooking spoon. Um, here's the spoon, but I wanna show you this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And so he put his name on it and the date. And uh, he put in a really nice note as well. And I just really, um, if you're watching this, um, I'm not sure if he wants his name to be known, but Evale. <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching this, I just want to say thank you for this spoon. We absolutely love this. I wish I could do that. I'm trying. I'm working on, uh, I'm practicing um, doing stuff like this. But um, isn't that just beautiful with our, and it, it's kind of like a double spoon. 
But anyways, I just want to give a quick shout out to him because, um, you know, there's a lot of time taken in this and I really truly appreciate it. And it's very special and I will always keep it here. So thanks a lot, really appreciate it. Good morning. Well, it's morning for me and it's uh, day five of our adventure. And uh, the neighbor, can, um, you're gonna hear noise in the background because now he is chipping the wood of the trees that he cut down. So there's a lot of noise going on here um, near my camp. But again, I uh, really like this neighbors. I have no problem with that at all. Again, I'm all about trying to get your land to be better improved with, for regards to fire and such. So um, just a couple things. Um, yesterday was a really good day. We went and we went uh, frisbee golfing and we finally took a shower. Oh, it feels so good. We're nice and clean. Uh, so we finally took a shower as well. Um, and then last night, um, Kyla um, set up a little movie. I know I get a little criticism for this of having a movie in my tent with my girls. Um, they have two nights worth of movies that they can watch and um, and yet last night was one of the nights and uh, we watched a little bit of Harry Potter. Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, you're camping, you need to get rid of technology altogether. Well, you know, I like movies. I like movies, it kind of makes it a little bit more fun, you know, so I'm, I'm fine with it, you know. Um, they, my girls are get, definitely getting their wilderness training for sure. So um, we, have a, we have a couple issues that I just want to mention. Uh, again, we're on day five and uh, Rocky's having issues. And he hasn't put up his tail in two days since we backpacked. So there's something I think going on with him, but I don't know what it is. I think he's in some sort of pain right now, but he still wants to do stuff. Um, now he's supposed to be going backpacking. Come here, Rockers, come on, let's show him your tail. See how his tail's not up? See how his tail's down right now? Usually his tail's up. So he's telling me something's going on. So we're gonna go on a very little hike today. I'm just gonna test him out, see how he's doing. I think I've mentioned before that the girl's daddy is gonna be coming here to pick up Kyla to go to another camp. Uh, she's going to YM YMCA camp. So I think, and I hate to do this, I really do, but I think Rocky has to go with Kyla. Now Mattis and I are going on a hike. Um, you know, Madison wants to do 30 miles on the trail, and um, I don't, I don't think we're gonna end up doing 30. So I, I chose a trail that does. Um, we have multiple options. So depending on how Madison's feeling at the time, we can decide to do more like uh, 10 or 20 miles. So it's really up to us what we want to do. Now. Um, I just don't, I don't think Rocky for sure can do 30. I mean, based on his tail right now, I'm telling you, he can't do 30. Madison's been waiting for this trip forever and she's been training really hard. So, um, I don't know, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know, I'll let you know. Okay, so we are, um, Kyla is at the car. She's got her pack on. We are getting ready to go hike this. It's, uh, again, only two miles. We're doing a short one because, because of Rocky. And uh, we're just gonna hike this little kind of peak area. Okay, we're on our way to our destination, um, our hike. If you see here, it's very, very pretty. Uh, nice and blue sky. Um, and, but I wanted to, to let you guys know that um, I do have a new tire on my car because I forgot to mention that. I keep forgetting to mention a lot of things. I got a lot of things going on. Um, but I have a new tire and thankfully Todd, Todd never watches my videos, but in case you happen to watch this video, Todd, um, I wanna thank you because he took my old tire that had a screw in it, went back down to the city, got it plugged for free, and then came right back up to Spirit Forest and um, we switched out the tire. So I truly appreciate that. So now I have a tire that doesn't have a hole in it, which is really nice to have especially when I'm driving on all these dirt roads um, and you'll see I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere um, we've seen only a few cars um, it's really really pretty here okay we are back from hiking we had a great time in fact we weren't oh I wasn't done <laughs> so I took the kids on a, just a little short hike um, wanted to check out this little stream and have them try out a uh, Sawyer filter so um, we took a little I don't know, maybe it was a total of a mile or something like that. Really small little hike. I um, wanted to show them just kind of a different area as well. Um, kind of nestled into um, 
more of the woods and stuff, so not at alpine level. And uh, they got to test out the Sawyers. They were pretty happy with it. It was They did notice that it was a little hard to fill them, but I wanted to show them that because um, we do have a couple of them and there might be a time where we might use it. So we're currently um, at, the, at the tent right now. Um, the girls are hanging out. Um, we're doing a staring contest. Oh, they're having a staring contest, <laughs> yes. Oh, it's windy. So while my kids are practicing their instruments, <laughs> I'll have to play a couple of it. I think it's really kind of cute. Um, but uh, while they're practicing that, um, I am building a table because I am not one to sit still very much. And um, so I am building this table. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. It's kind of fun again. So it's like, why well, go out and buy something when I get all this wood? Let me try to build it. And if I can't get it to, to build, then um, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy something. But the problem is, is the water is right on the ground, so there's really not a lot of room here. And we have some just have to lift it up, and and it's really, really heavy too. Like it's it's seven seven um, gallons, so it's really heavy. So um, um, over here, uh, what I did is I'm, I'm building this. If you notice, nothing strapped on. I just kind of was measuring to see how it would work. Um, but I'm going to tie it all together, and then move this onto this and then have a little water stand so that way um, it will be further off the ground. So let me back up so you can kind of see what it looks like. A little, little tiny bushcraft table. Hi, it is day seven in our tent with my girls. Day seven out of 10. Just gonna give you a little quick recap. We, um, yesterday was a celebration. It was a 4th of July celebration. So we went out, didn't film that much because it is my favorite holiday. And so I'm not filming, I'm just having fun. Um, I had some hamburger, I had some beer. Um, had a great 4th of July celebration as we went over and to a little small town in Colorado and I got to do some chalk art. We got a chalk art contest and we won $15 um, and got some ice cream and uh, we did a lot of other fun stuff too. So it was just, it was a nice celebration, a great night. And then we came back to the camp and just relaxed. Um, that's what you do on 4th of July. You just hang out with family. So today on day seven, we are going to go and do some archery. So the kids right now are in the tent and hanging out. Oh, Kyla's, she's got some of her 4th of July festivities still on. Um, but we're gonna go and do some archery. We're also gonna go over to a neighbor's house and get some water. He's got a well for us. And, uh, and we'll, we'll get some nice clean water because we have gone through, this was um, five gallons of water. We've gone through that and we've also gone through um, about 14 gallons of water as well and um, giving rocky water and such and just so you know kind of where we're at in our power currently right now um, we are at 40 percent of our power right now we are currently powering a um, iPad it looks like Kyla is 
going to be heading out today. She is going to her YMCA camp today. So her daddy is coming over this afternoon and we'll pick her up and uh, we'll have to say goodbye to Kyla. But then it's just Madison and I left and we will um, be backpacking and we will be filming that backpacking as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm just quickly giving you guys kind of just a recap of, of what's going on. look our first rain oh I'm so excited so I want to go see how my water is going how I'm collecting water it just stopped just for a little bit but there's thunder and lightning and oh shoot I don't think it's working I don't think it's working you see It's going in, kind of. Just, it's really dirty. Look at all this water I'm wasting. It's about 50 something degrees right now. Last year it was doing much better I think because it's been so long. There's lightning. It's been so long since it's rained. The top of my tarp is just just really messy. Now it's starting to rain again. I gotta get my camera out of the rain. Hello. And good morning. It is the morning of my 10 day adventure. And um, so that means it's my last day out in the wilderness exploring. Um, I am currently backpacking with my daughter and she is in the tent somewhere. You can kind of, I don't know if you can see the tent. There it is somewhere in there. Um, and uh, she's packing up the stuff right now. And I wanted to give you guys kind of my take on um, being with my daughters for 10 days and camping and the struggles and the um, happy times that we've had as well and just kind of do just a really quick overview. I did record um, a lot of videos and uh, I think they've already posted so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So in case you're wondering why I have my hood up, it is unbelievable amount of mosquitoes in this area. <laughs> and biting flies like I'm getting eaten alive so if I have to keep pausing the video that is why um 10 days 10 days with my girls um actually it was more of I think seven days with Kyla and 10 days with my uh, Madison my uh, 13 year old she's gonna be playing a, um, a whistle in the background just so we know <laughs> Um, I truly enjoyed it. Um, some of the things that were a struggle were trying to keep them entertained was, was a struggle. Um, there was a lot of times, well, Kyla likes to always know what's happening next. Um, and I knew that about her. So I did create a whiteboard and every day on the whiteboard, I would write down what it is that we're doing that day. So she wouldn't ask me five to six times, um, what are we, what are we doing? And then, um, then um, another thing that was kind of a struggle was just, um, you know, they wanted they wanted their electronics. Um, they did, and uh, 
and I kind of I understand that you know kids have been I mean that's what they were raised with they were raised with electronics they were raised with an iPad and raised with internet and um, getting used to not having internet is a big struggle for them um, and in fact sometimes it's a struggle for me too because there's times when I've mentioned before in other videos that I reach for my phone um, and the majority of the time there was only like two days I think on this trip that we had internet uh, one was on the 4th of July and uh, another one is that we had to drive somewhere and there happened to be inter internet while we were driving um, but that's it I mean that's all that's all we had and um, it was a really big struggle for them because um, like my teenager wants to text her friends or um, snapchat them <laughs> I don't do that but um, you know so it was Mom, I want internet. Why can't we get internet? Can we go drive somewhere to get internet? And I'm just like, mm, no, we're not gonna drive anywhere to get internet, you know? Um, so that was, a, that was a bit of a struggle. Um, another struggle um, was um, food. I didn't, re I didn't even think about this. Now I know this about my dog, but I didn't know this about Madison. <laughs> yeah, I just compared my dog to my daughter. Um, my dog eats probably twice, almost twice as much food when he's in the wilderness. Well, um, Madison does too. So we are very close to running out of food. Um, and the grocery, it's not like we can't go to the grocery store. This, the grocery store is an hour drive. And, um, and so I had to like ration what, what food they had. Um, again, sorry, there's like, I moved locations multiple times. I might have to move again. These flies are crazy here. Um, so that that was a little bit um, of a struggle, is trying to figure out all the food. Now, if you now you try to plan three people's food for ten days, uh, five days of backpacking, and five days inside a tent, um, and no refrigeration at all. It's it took a lot of planning for me. Um, we did not run out of food. Um, I did bring extra, which was a good thing I did because I didn't expect Madison to be so hungry. Kyla was just about normal of normal of what she eats, but Madison was about twice as hungry as she normally is. Um, so again, that was that was kind of a struggle as well. I had to move again. There was like 50 flies on me. Okay, so. Um, I think for, for like getting along, I think we got along just fine. I really do. There was probably like three times where we had a little spat, you know, where we all kind of walked in our own little corner. Um, but within five minutes we were fine and kids were asking me, what are we doing again? <laughs> yeah, so, so I think that that was fine. I think we get along pretty well as, as a family. Um, so I don't think we have a lot of problems with that. I mean, I do have a teenager and the teenager likes to um, tell me what to do and tell me that I'm wrong a lot of the times but I, I'm pretty sure that's pretty normal for a teenager uh, at least that's what I'm told so it takes a lot of patience on my part um, to deal with that you know what I mean to be constantly told that I'm doing something wrong when I know I'm doing it right <laughs> oh yeah um, and that just happened yesterday so um Let's see what else. Um, let's talk about some good stuff that I, that I got out of this. Um, I did want to share those struggles with you because um, you don't see everything on the camera. You know, I bring out the camera probably for, you know, 15 minutes or so during the day and, and you don't see any, any of the struggle, but I don't want to portray that everything is always perfect. You know what I mean? Um, we're humans and, and uh, we're so used to the internet and we're used to toilets and we're used to electricity and you're used to running water and showers and all that and you have to go without that, you know? Um, we did take a shower, but I think we only took two showers in these 10 days, you know? So it's, it, it's, it's, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, the, the good things, good things, is that I got to have 10 days with my daughters. Um, you know, being a single mom, and if you are a single mom and you're watching this, um, I think that you might relate to this. Um, when I first got separated from um, my, my husband, it was really tough on me, and I found myself really upset because I was used to having my kids every day. 
you know, and then all of a sudden I only had him part of the week and I didn't like that, you know what I mean? I really, I didn't like it. Um, and so even now it's very rare that I get to see my kids every day of the week. Um, and I, I miss that part and having these 10 days is, I get to have them, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, uh, I get to see what they're doing every day. I get to see what they're laughing at and, and the things that they like. And, and it's not that I don't get to see it. Well, I don't get to see it when they're not around, you know, when they're with their dad. I'm always want, wanting to know, like, what are you guys doing? Are you having fun? Are you having fun without me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I think of all these, all these things, you know. So being able to have them for 10 days straight was really really special to me. Let's see the flies on the screen. No matter where I move, the flies are now following me. Um, but it was really special to me to, to have them here and, and with me and to experience um, these adventures. You know, um, Madison and um, Kyla and I, we went on a backpacking adventure and I remember having to, we had to climb this really big rock and I remember reaching down, you know what I mean, to, to get Kyla. And I could just, I don't know, I just, it's an adventure, you know what I mean? It's not just um, taking the kids to, to the beach and hanging out and drinking a beer and watching them. It's um, playing with them and exploring with them and seeing things with them, not just, um, not just watching them explore, but ex yeah, just doing everything with them. You know what I like the most is being able to challenge my daughters um, on an adventure um, like these. You know, the backpacking adventure, or the um, you know hiking up to a peak, or hiking um, you know in a in a valley that's like almost 3,000 foot climb. You know, and um, that is um, really. It inspires me to keep doing it because I know that these type of things that they're just going to remember, you know. Um, and, I, and I think I mentioned in another video too is that, you know, my daughter, she's 13 years old and um, I only have a little bit of time left before she wants to hang out more with her friends than she wants to hang out with her mom. Um, or moms can be taking her and her friends out is how I see it. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's just being able to to challenge them and you know the skill that I have is backpacking and um, you know and I don't know if that's a skill it's just it's really just going for a walk and pitching up a tent um, but uh, it's it's something that I know and I know it really well so um, I think that if you have um, a skill and it doesn't have to be wilderness or outdoors, you know, pass it on to your kids. Um, if you're a dancer, for example, you know, pass that, that skill on to your daughters and, um, and teach them what, what it is that you know, because I think a lot of times we don't do that anymore. Um, we, we take them to, to camps and um, um, different activities and we don't actually teach them what we know. Um, and I think there's a there's a certain kind of bonding that's um, truly special in that in doing that. So I don't want to ramble too much on that, but um, I've been thinking about it a lot on this hike and uh, watching Madison and Kyla and and uh, watching them go through these little adventures and these struggles, like having to cross a stream that seems really difficult and the you know the board's really bending and there's um, a pretty rushing stream underneath you, you know, these type of adventures, um, you know, they raise your heartbeat and, you know, I can see Madison when she, when she finishes it, she gets all proud, you know, and she looks over to me for like approval. And um, even the same with Kyla when she, um, she really likes uh, working with a compass, you know, and she likes to point which way is north at all times. So I'll always test her and be like, which way is north? And she seems to always know now. You know, so she's very good at, at learning her directions, and I'm, I'm very proud of her for that. So every once in a while, she'd even come up to me and be like, Mom, is that north? You know, and uh, we get out the compass. And a lot of times she was right. And there was a lot of times she was right. So um, it was fun. It, it was fun. It was um, this, this 10 days was, it was a challenge. Um, it was a food challenge, not only, but it was um, 
a challenge to keep them entertained without their electronics. Uh, we did have two nights of movies, so I didn't want to be... Um, we did have two nights during these 10 days of movies, and I think that was really special for the kids to be able to have some mm -hmm. electronic um, during this 10... Oh, the fly, come on. The fly landed on you again. So I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to let my girls talk. Um, currently, right now, I have Madison with me and Kyla, my true adventurer, because she was with me for seven days and then left for a couple days and is now at another camp for another six days so she's gonna be camping even longer than me and um, so we'll get her take when she gets back from her second camp Ooh, and I gotta get out of these flies there's like literally I think there's 50 of them flying around me this is crazy okay we're gonna get Madison's take she's inside the tent she's the smart one not sitting out here and I just need more wind if there was more wind it would blow away these flies okay let's go get Madison's take before on the 10 day trip, I felt, I felt excited. I felt really excited to go on this trip. And I just, I was so hyper and I just wanted it to start. But after this trip, I felt kind of sad because I'm going to leave and I'm going to go in a different environment. I, I'm also, happy you know those like happy sad moments i feel like those that on this trip so what i missed the most was the bathroom the bathrooms were pretty nice in the city but uh what i thought i was going to miss but i didn't on this 10 day trip uh was my phone I thought I was going to miss my uh, Wi-Fi or coverage on this trip, but to be honest, I didn't really use my phone at all on this trip. What? You missed the internet. You just didn't miss it as much. Yeah, I. As much as you thought you would have. Yeah, I didn't. There were times where you were like, "I need internet. Can we drive over to get internet?" Yeah. <laughs> but I thought I would miss it more. Yeah. Than. And I thought, why do kids need to be in the outdoors? My honest opinion, when I think of kids, I think of the future. So if kids do not respect nature, they will, they will destroy it or they won't protect nature. The reason why I think nature should be kept, it, it's our root system. It, nature always brings us back to the memories, to our memories. It's very calming, calming and very relaxing and i wouldn't i i don't know what to do if nature went away that's my honest opinion about why should kids be in the outdoors so what i really liked about our seven days in the wilderness first of all was when we went to the fourth of july fest because it was really fun. We didn't get much candy, but the ice cream was still delicious because we won seven, fifteen dollars, yeah. And um, I also liked it when we went backpacking because we got to go by the rivers. Even though mom did get a flat tire, it was a fun experience. And I really, when a part that I really liked when we were in the tent, was when we watched the movies. So what I didn't like about this trip was when mommy got a flat tire, because that really slowed us down and wasn't a very fun experience. Why kids should go outside is because if they don't now, they may never know if they like it or not when they're older.